Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So another week and another preview build that's rolled out to the Dev Channel Insiders, and that's build 25140, which Microsoft made available on the 15th of June, which was yesterday in my region. Now, there's not too much really exciting to mention and to uh, report on in this latest build 25140. Um, there's no new features and no major changes. There's just a couple of um, uh, improvements and bug fixes. And due to the fact that there's not much going on in this latest build 25140, I thought that we could just take a quick look at the release notes um, if you are interested. And I have highlighted some of the key points uh, um, just for easy reference for this video and I'll also leave a link down below to uh, the release notes for build 25140 if that would be of interest. Now yeah we can see that Microsoft has uh, released ISO image files uh, for this latest build which can be downloaded um, from the download link if you are signed up to the Insider program. Uh, as mentioned changes and improvements. The main one here under general is um, they've updated the uh, Euphemia font used for Canadian syllabic script and these are uh, just this is an example of some of the new glyphs in the Euphemia typeface and then there are some fixes and improvements to the file explorer uh, they fixed an issue where the active tab color didn't match the command bar below it and then also um, there was an issue where dragging to rearrange tabs wasn't working uh, in the file explorer sometimes according to Microsoft and that's because as many of you know the file explorer in the dev and beta channel now has uh, tab support and that will just make dragging and dropping the tabs now with this fix a lot smoother uh, in the file explorer settings has received an improvement there are some fixes and um, um, improvements to input and then the task manager has received a fix and also a small adjustment to the intensity of the colors used in the heat map of the processes page and that's because the task manager um, uh, in the dev channel um, has accent colors available as I have posted previously. There's some other fixes and then we get to some known issues and under general um, the marker material and acrylic blur effect is not rendering correct in the operating surfaces like the start menu and notification center and other areas so that's a known issue just to be aware of uh, if you are in the dev channel and just a side note check quickly um, as many of you know and i wouldn't suggest this don't uh, install uh, the dev the dev build and these uh, preview builds the dev channel builds on a pc that's your main working pc um, if you are fortunate enough to have a secondary pc rather test these dev channel builds out on a secondary PC and not your main working PC. And then um, there's also another known issue here where shutting down using the start menu isn't working for some insiders and is unexpectedly rebooting instead. So also be aware of that. And um, the file explorer, there's a new known issue here, um, reports that launching the file explorer in certain ways when using dark mode as an example from the command line is showing the body of File Explorer unexpectedly in light mode. Uh, widgets, also another new known issue. They're working on a fix for an issue causing widgets preferences. Uh, that's the temperature units and pinned widgets to unexpectedly set to uh, default. And then live captions, there's also certain apps in full screen, example video players, uh, that prevent live captions from being visible. So those are some of the known issues. And then you also got some changes for RT admins and as mentioned, um, those are the key points um, I thought I'd just highlight for you in yellow. And I will leave a link down below um, to these, these release notes now for build 25140. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.